What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, here's a TV sitting in my bedroom. I like watching TV while I'm laying in my bed, right? That's pretty cool, watching the TV there. But sometimes I'd like to be sitting on my couch and watching TV. And unfortunately, when the bed's over here and the couch is over here and the TV's right here, well, that means you are limited to watching it from one place only. So I think I got something that should help with that. So to solve my TV sharing problem, this is what I picked up. It's a multi-filament rotary table for 28 to 31 inch TVs. Now, what I think that refers to is kind of how large this spinning Lazy Susan-like platter kind of works with old school TVs. Now, that's gonna mean that you're gonna be within kind of the edges of the platter in order for it to work perfectly. Now, obviously the TV I'm gonna use it on is gonna be lighter than these old school CRT TVs, but it's also gonna be a lot wider. And I'm not looking for it to spin completely around. I just need it to kind of give me one angle and then give me another angle. I'm not gonna, you know, use it for 180 degree spinning. And huh, the thing is all assembled already. As you can see, the cool thing is the back here, which is, uh, like a semicircle is what's is is the kind of the key to this thing working. So as it pivots, you can have it basically pressed up right against a wall, and because it if it were square, it wouldn't move. It would kind of bounce into the wall. But this way, you can have it pushed really close to a wall here, and it will spin without this back part hitting the wall. It does seem like the two pieces here seem pretty smooth. It's on some sort of bearing. It's not so smooth that there isn't some resistance where it'll just spin around. The other thing that I've noticed on the bottom here is you have kind of this round circular pivot obviously, but you do have six little rubber feet here. So that should help give it some traction, keep it in place. You can see that the whole thing is just plastic, you know, molded plastic. Obviously it has the reinforcements, the vertical pieces right there to reinforce it, to give it structure. And then you have a little bit of this triangular checker pattern on the top, maybe to kind of give it a little bit of traction and things like that. Overall, it's a pretty big, pretty big uh, piece of equipment. So if I put my TV up here, I think that there's gonna be some space where I can put my cable box, you know, my Apple TV. You might have to attach them to your TV, but uh, I'm pretty excited about using this to see if I can now continue to use my TV not only for facing the, the bed, but also pivot it around so that I can use it at the couch. So let's go ahead and install this and see how it works. All right, guys, so I got the turntable installed, even though it's not designed for this. This 42 inch LCD TV fits, <laughs> actually the base fits perfectly on it. There's no extra room on it. Uh, I was able to put the cable box here and then also my Apple TV box you know, I kind of put that on the base here. So the thing does swivel. You can see it right there. And I've got it pressed up uh, pretty close to the wall. Now, the cool thing is when I'm in my bed over here, I can watch TV. So that's great. And, you know, it's a, at an angle, but it was before. But the great thing about this is now I can also swivel it. Now, one of the things you'll have to do is make sure that you give your cords enough slack so that they don't kind of bunch up or get pulled out of the wall. But if I turn it around here... I can go all the way so that that edge then presses on the wall right there. And you can see here the hardware of the tray. Again, because this back side is curved, you don't have to worry about an edge hitting the wall or anything. But then if I go over here, I can absolutely watch TV from my couch. And I can finish this episode of Star Trek Voyager. So I'm pretty stoked about this thing. Uh, definitely useful and saves me from obviously having to have two different TVs for one room. Peter Von Panda. And for Virginia Madsen. Out.